What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Ben Builds. We are back on the bench with our 148 scale FJ2 Fury by Kitty Hawk. Last episode, we went ahead and worked on the front nose section of the aircraft. We got the cockpit all painted up, had everything glued together. We put some nose weights in there. We're going to shift over today, go right into the rear tail. I want to go ahead and build up that rear tail cone. I want to build up the engine, and I want to check some fit of different parts and pieces. I also intend on collapsing and folding in the air brakes. A lot of the Fury pictures I've seen do not have air brakes unfolded, so I want to go ahead and just tuck those in and make sure they actually fit. We also have to install some vents, and then there's some odds and ends like a tail bumper and a rester hook. We're not going to do the rester hook today. I'm not sure how that's going to go together, but we're going to get all of the parts glued on to this rear tail. Now, we're going to start here with the engine, and I've been studying the parts and pieces. It doesn't look like it's all that difficult. We have a top and a bottom part of the engine. We have a front compressor blade. I'm assuming this is some sort of compressor blade. We've got, I guess, a, some sort of a directional cone that sticks off the front of that. And then we have a compressor blade in the center facing backwards. So we kind of have all the parts and pieces ready to go right here. They're not that bad. Also, they have other parts that they want you to go ahead and install. Some different, I guess, supports. And then there is some form of machine that kind of hangs off the top of the engine. I'm not sure what that does or what it is. But we're not going to add any of that. And the reason being is that there's no need because you're not going to see any of it. So I don't know why I'd waste so much time super detailing something that you're not going to see. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and start putting together all the parts and pieces. And there's not a lot of pieces that we need to go ahead and fool with. There is this front area that is made up of three different parts. And I've been studying that and there's something wrong here. It doesn't really fit, and I'm not really sure why. So I'm going to go ahead and do some study here, and I'm going to figure out what exactly is going on so that we can make an educated decision. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to fix it. All right, everybody. So I've gone ahead and done a little bit of work here, and I've kind of figured out what's going on with this front section of the engine. As you can see here, we have three different parts that all sandwich together. We have our front little nose here. We have this center section, and then we have what I believe to be a compressor blade in the back. Now, all these three are supposed to sandwich together with that center section being between the rear compressor blade and then that front nose cone. Now, the problem is this section right in here is actually too long or too wide, depending on how you look at it. And it will not allow for that front nose cone to attach on to that compressor blade. There's just not enough meat there on that compressor blade attachment point to go ahead and slide through the entire middle section. So that's going to be a problem. I'm not sure exactly how to fix that or if it even needs to be fixed because you're not going to really see much in there anyway. But we're going to do some thinking on that and try to figure out what's going on. Plus, I need to go ahead and figure out what even fits together and why we would even need that. So if we go ahead and attach that front compressor blade to the inside of the engine, there's a little bit of a lip right here that that just slides right up to and it kind of stops right there. So that's not a problem. We can go ahead and glue that down. The other sections, though, kind of mount on top of that. That's where we're having that trouble. Then let that sit, and let's go ahead and test fit it as well and see how that all goes together. And it looks like, yeah, that's fine. No problem there at all. So that's good. We do have to do one other part, though. There's an actual plate in the very center of this. I'm assuming another compressor blade. And we're going to glue that down and make sure that that fits nicely. And let's test fit it. Looks like, yes, it does fit. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and glue that down. There's also this cone that kind of hangs off the back there. We're going to glue that on as well. And then I'm pretty sure we'll be able to tackle that front nose area. I've decided to go ahead and just cut out the center section and remove the entire issue. Just cut it out. I don't think we need it. It doesn't hold any weight. It's not load bearing. It's just there. So we're just going to go ahead and glue this down without that center section. Trim it up a little bit so that it fits perfectly right in the middle. That's it. I'm not going to worry about it. Like I said before, you're not really going to see any of these parts and pieces in here. It's just not really that imperative to put this on. Now, even if you were to shine a flashlight down the front intake, you're still not going to be able to see very much of this. So again, not worried about it. Now, if we were going to go ahead and display this with the engine open and the actual rear tail cone removed, which right now in its current form, it doesn't really allow for that. But if we were going to somehow figure that out, okay, then I could see us having to go ahead and do a little bit more work on the engine to make it a bit more realistic. But we're not. We're sealing everything up. And this kit doesn't even have any sort of parts or pieces to assemble some sort of stand for that rear tail cone. So it's not even an issue. We're just going to move on, glue everything down. And well, I think that'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and just glue that down. A little bit of extra thin Tamiya. And I think we have a completed engine. 
So moving right along, guys, we have to go ahead and see how everything kind of fits into the rear tail. Again, most of the parts here on the Kitty Hawk kit have these very large, what I assumed were actually locating pins. They're not. They're actually just like ejector pin markings and sprue attachment points from when I guess they were molding it. I'm not sure what they are, but there's a lot of them. And you got to cut those off because there's no locating tabs on the opposite side. So really, honestly, they're just meant to be removed. We're going to go ahead and start assembling this rear tail cone. I want to get everything nicely cleaned up. I want to go ahead and cut off all these other you know, pieces that we do not need. And then we're going to glue everything down. And I'm hoping, fingers crossed, this all goes together well. So there's a lot of work to be done here. But I'm going to take it step by step. We're going to queue up that time lapse. Let's get it done. Alright everybody, we are back and we have a mostly completed rear tail of our FJ2 Fury. So you can see here we have that center section kind of glued into the underside of the tail. We have our tail bumper. We have our air brakes folded into the body and glued down. And yeah, it's okay. I have to tell you though, this bugs me. I don't like having that tail bumper out. We also have these here that did not want to fit into the actual air brake wells. They just did not want to go in there. I had to do a lot of sanding and cutting and filing. But I did get those placed in there, and, well, it is what it is. Now, the engine I did end up taking off that front section. I just thought, you know what, there's no point having it. It doesn't make the engine fit better. It actually makes it fit worse. So we just pulled it out. And then this is just going to fit down when it's time to assemble everything. It's going to go down into two locating tabs on either side of the fuselage, and that will click right into place. Here you can see the back section actually fits decently. A little bit of issue with the fit right around the bottom of the tail cone. But honestly, it's fine. Now the front tail section and the back tail section attach right here at this center joint. So you can see it, well, mostly fits. It's a little bit of some issue right here with these four corners kind of come together. That's going to be a little bit of some sanding right in this area. But I don't think it's going to be too detrimental. 
we do have a bit of a lift there as well. But you can see a little bit in the intake right there. And as you can tell, the uh, front engine, well, it just is what it is. It's not great, but it's going to be fine. Now, the wings itself, I did do a little bit of work on the fuselage to see if I couldn't get these wings to attach a little bit better. And I did. I had some success with that. I ended up filing down the front area a little bit and also the center section as well. We do have to do a bit more work, though, because it's really not kind of snapping in place like it's supposed to. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and tackle that next episode. Now, we did also, of course, build up that rear tail, but we're not going to glue that down just yet because, well, I don't want to have something hanging off that tail until I figure out what needs to be done to attach the rear section to the front section of the fuselage. But it's going to go something like this with the wings attached here. You can kind of get an idea. I think it looks pretty cool. It's definitely a fury. But we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today, guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me here and building along with me today. We will go ahead and see you back here on the next episode of our FJ2 Fury. Until then, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon.